Ah, Nimitz has an interesting comment. Daniel, would you agree that the Nidorf is not a good opening for normal club players? Too sharp, very theoretical, need a lot of understanding, etc. There are a lot of players who say this is not an ideal opening for normal club players. Do you agree? Um, well, let me see. Um, I'm a huge fan of the night off, um, and I think it's like anything, any openings, they're a matter of taste. Some people like it, some don't. I think the night off is a very good practical opening because you have an extra centre pawn. And I think, actually, it's very hard for White, in, pr in practical play, to break the opening down. And it's a lot of fun. OK, so, Queen A5. Now, this is quite an old variation. And I come back to some of the comments that I made um, with previous games of Giri that I think his opponents are playing cleverly against him. You know, he's probably not as well versed in these old variations. And I think that came across again here. This was very popular in the 1950s and 1960s. And here the normal move is to play bishop b3. Um, and after bishop b7, for example, castles. I mean, this has been played by Spassky, Polygievsky, Tal. It's a real classic. Huh, interesting comment. Top pace says Kasparov said that you, no Sicilian before GM level. Um, Yeah, well, I disagree with that. You know, I think um, the Sicilian is a, is, a, is a very practical opening from Black's viewpoint. If you don't mind, folks, I'd like to concentrate on the chess. Um, so going back to this position. So bishop b3 is the normal move, but Giri played bishop d5, and I'm really surprised. I'm really surprised he played this. Um, it has been seen before, but it just looks so risky to me. I mean, not that taking is, is particularly wonderful. I mean, this, this would, I think, be a, a terrible um, mistake, because then you, take, you play knight c6, you take here and here. But b4 is a good move. But this has all been seen before. <clears throat> uh, Nimips, I could talk about the Sicilian uh, for the next year, if you like, but maybe another on another occasion. Um, I'm actually considering doing a, a series of lectures on the Nidorf. Um, I think it's an excellent opening. But if you don't mind, I'd like to concentrate on, on the game. OK, and knight b6 has been played before, actually quite successfully from Black's viewpoint. Uh, but here, I mean, maybe um, Giri had some kind of improvement. For example, knight b3 is worth investigating. <clears throat> but queen takes a2 happened, and this has been played once before. In, in a game which White won. Queen e2 happened. Obviously there's a threat, so you need to create an escape square. And bishop b7. Knight b6 has been played previously, and well, because the king was in the middle, this was probably good for White. But instead, Bishop b7 was played, and this is a new move. Um, I'm just kind of staggered that anyone would go in for this, because <laughs> I just think 
it, it looks as though black has excellent compensation. And now here, Giri played king d2. <clears throat> and lots of people who were looking at their chess engines during the game, because you'll find that most chess engines will suggest f4. They were going, f4, why doesn't he play f4? Why doesn't he play f4? Um, you could play f4 in this position. For me, it doesn't change the assessment of the position. I don't think it's particularly better for white. It's a move that the chess engines like. But I just think this is a very, very unclear position, and white is not better. Um, I mean, one possible way for black to get compensation is simply to bring the queen back into play and put it on c5. And black is the exchange down, but you have to look at the bishop on a8, and you have to think... Um, You know why? Yeah, why should why should white have some kind of advantage here? Um, it just looks like a complete mess to me. But there are other moves after f4 as well. <clears throat> so. King d2 is played, so knight takes was played, and now, okay, this standard trick, black has, has won a pawn, you could say, and now queen e3 is probably a better chance, but I feel that black should be fine here after bishop f6 or bishop e7 but it's very very complicated but instead I'm very surprised at Giri's choice here he played rook a1 which transposes into an endgame in which white is undoubtedly worse whereas after after queen, queen e3 there is still well it's just very very unclear Okay, so let's have a look at the game. Rook a1. This is played. And, okay, if you don't play g6, then the point is that the rook enters the game. Um, and this is probably very good for black. So g6 is understandable, and here, here I think knight b6 is probably a very good move, but wasn't played. Um, but black is definitely better in this position. <clears throat> and in fact, it's so it's curious actually. I mean you mentioned uh, Nimitz mentioned earlier about you know is it a good idea to play the Sicilian or the Nidor and you'll find although the, the uh, games that result are very very complicated certain characteristics in the positions always come through so even if the position explodes you'll often find that Black's kingside majority comes through after the dust has settled and this is another classic case where that happens so if you have a look here basically black wins because of his kingside majority and Giri played some very strange moves here I think he he was probably just rather disheartened um, and started playing very very quickly I, but I think knight d5 was a better move and although black is better, white is fighting in this position, no doubt about it. You know, just trying to exchange pawns. So let me go back. Bishop d5 was played, and I think this is just a mistake, because now you take another pawn. 
and I think King E2 is better. Okay, black stands better in this position, but white is fighting here. But I think another move um, that's a, just a big mistake, King C3. I think Giri just got disheartened very, very quickly. I think he showed he had a glass jaw in this game, you know? Okay, so after bishop f7, this excellent move, rook d6. I was looking, I was also looking at knight d1 check, which is interesting. It's also probably quite good for black. But rook d6 is very solid indeed, so you're threatening a check with rook c6. But now, the bishop can come to b5, and I think black is winning. And the king comes in, and if you have a look, the king side is just being ripped apart here. And, well, there's no defence. Black is simply winning now. OK, there we go. <clears throat> so, a curious game. I think a poor opening choice by Giri. I think a very good opening choice by Gashimov, and also somehow Giri collapsed very, very quickly here. 